Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. So I just did a short, and y'all know I like to do a follow-up and explain things that I say in shorts a lot of times. So I talked about a comment that a guy, a very respectable guy that I know, uh, I've known him for some years now. Used to work with him, so on and so forth. It made me laugh, but it was it was deep and funny at the same time. What's the way? Hold on. Some something's on my eye. But listen, he said, dating when you're older is like trying to find a cart with Goodwills in Walmart. You know how when you in Walmart sometimes you got to just keep throwing carts out the way and be carts all over the place because they ain't no good. They they you you push them and they shaking and stuff. That was a good analogy because 40-year-olds shouldn't date. 40-year-old men that is, women is kind of different. Women need to, uh, they on their last leg, usually, as you know, when they 40 something, I'm not one of them ones. Listen, they know how to do some things better than young women. It's just a lot of them, they result to games and manipulation. They still can get smashed. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. But. A lot of them, they, ain't, they don't want to do it like that. You know, they rather play games, revert back to being a child, and manipulate. They stuff, it still be the same, similar. It might not always tighten back up like it used to, but it be the same or similar. It be good enough, and some of them high quality. But they don't want, that's not what they want to do. They want to, at this point, they're trying to control a man out of, that's how they handle competing with young women. Not going to the gym, not going to Sephora, not making sure they feet looking good, but disrespectful comments, disrespectful behavior, manipulation, sex strikes. But here's how we should handle it. Here's how we should handle it. Like I said, when I when I responded to him, I said that you got to get to know them. Stop trying to have sex with everybody. You ain't no dog. We're humans. Get to know them. Then, if, like I told them, they not too ghetto. They not too crazy. With us blacks, that was the main two things. They not a dot. They not hiding something, drug addiction, this, that. You gotta, you gotta vet them out, you gotta get to know them. And you see that this might be one that escaped through the cracks that's still decent. It's almost like, man, what is that? I see something in the camera. Wait, hold on. It's almost like you say, I ain't paying too much for no car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the junkyard and I'm gonna find the best car in the junkyard and I'm gonna restore that to brand new. That's what guys is doing and that's what you need to do in most cases. You go to you become a passport, bro. It's like you ain't going to the junkyard. You going to a lot that they bought all their cars from the junkyard, and they done put cars out the ocean and everything, and got them looking brand new. That's what you're doing with that, cause it's gonna be the same car underneath. But hey, man, I ain't keeping score on you. I'm not keeping score on you, man. Do you? In my mind, 
They're all the same until proven otherwise. It's like you in the junkyard. The junkyard is the world. And after you get tired of being in the junkyard, you learn what to look for. You have enough cars that was trash. Now you know what to look for, don't you? That's, that's the red pill. That's the guys that be talking in this space. We just showing y'all, well, some of us regurgitating other people information, but we'll keep it scored. But a lot of us is showing you from experience, being married before, you saw all the changes that you deal with with wives, all the sneakiness, all the different things, the disrespect, the entitlement. And then we come tell you, hey man, listen man, this is what you gotta look out for. So what I'm gonna do on this video is I'm going to show you guys. And I'm going to show you guys in different categories. We're going to make different videos. On um, one video, I'm going to show you guys in y'all 20s how y'all need to do it. In another video, I'm going to show, I'm going to compare 30s and 40s, same thing. So I'm going to compare both of them in one video. I'm even going to do 50s. Don't think they ain't smashable at 50. You think they ain't smashable, I'm not telling you to go do it. But if you do it, you gonna get sauce, sauce out. Even 60s. But I'm gonna lump 50s and 60s together. Based on what I see, based on what I know. Um, but right on this video, let's start this off this is going to be a series. Let's start this off 30s and 40s. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to do 40s on here because I'm still technically in my 40s. I'm on my way out of my 40s, but I'm still technically in my 40s. Like, I got one more year to be in the 40s. And I know y'all try to make that mean something. It don't. Trust me, it don't. Let me show you something. I told y'all this before. When I was working in the detention center, some of the most dangerous staff was dudes in their 40s and 50s. Them dudes respected us in our 40s and our 50s more than they did them dudes in their 20s. They just used to try to manipulate them. But with us in our 40s and 50s, I mean, it wasn't that many weak staff in their 40s and 50s, especially the guys. They was not going for it. Now, that's the point I'm making. You gotta have that same mentality when you're dealing with these women that I had when I was working in that detention center. I didn't hate nobody. I knew people had issues. I didn't hold it against them. But when it came to me and my dealings with you and you, you on my unit, it's my way. F your feelings. I care about your feelings when you learn how to behave. May even pull some strings for you. That's how I did things. Now, when I was younger, the first time I worked there, they was more, they want the guys that was in there was a little more masculine, I would say. Now, I'm not saying all the guys that was there this last time was feminine, they wasn't. I'm saying like they control, they conducted they self different than the kids that was in there the first time. The kids that was in there the first time, they listened to you more. They, some of them wanted to do right. I would say more of them wanted to do right than not. And so it made it easier and they respected my neighborhood that I grew up in too. 19th and Hampton, HPT as it's called. What we came up with that needs to simmer down, but who's keeping score? I can't control what them dudes do over there. 
I don't go over there no more. I'm older now. They not going, even though I'm quote unquote an OG over there, it's going to always be somebody that wants to downplay or disrespect. That's why when you get older, it don't make sense to be hanging out in your hood. I seen many dudes die and get jumped trying to hang out in their hood once they get older. So, if we got to do two parts, we'll do two parts to this. But, when it come to me, forget what you talking about. I got to give myself the best. Because when you in your 40s, your blood run a little thinner. Now, and what happens is, you start being too angry and stuff like that, it's gonna have a different effect on your body than it would in your 20s and 30s. So you gotta realize that when you're dealing with these women, these women, you'll literally be sick. I'm telling, hey, listen, man. Forget about what you think about. I know what I'm talking about. You'll be trying to make things work. When you 40, you don't make things work with women. If they don't work, you divorce her, you dump her, you leave her a double dollar sign wherever she at. And this is why you don't live with them. They gotta earn that. Cause they gon' women by nature gonna think about themselves. They are. You gotta force them to think about you. And if you can't, then you leave them alone. Because, again, a lot of dudes gone right now. See, what the woman going to do is she going, in a lot of cases, she going to portray herself different in public and around other people than she do behind closed doors. But what she do behind closed doors, that's what's going to make your blood boil. That's what's going to bring toxins in the blood. That's why the Bible said, man, hey, listen. You, no, I ain't trying to hear nobody about the Bible, man. I'm not. You ain't going to make me think of myself and my relationship with the most high no different. And you ain't going to get me to look at the Bible like it's, like it's not valid. When it said it's better for a man to dwell in the corner of the roof than in the house with a quarrelsome wife. Especially in your 40s, man, you gonna be... No. In your 40s, you supposed to be collecting memorabilia. You supposed to be reflecting back. The 80s was the best. You know what I mean? Because it was. Booze keeping score. You can like whatever decade you want. 80s was the best the 90s was was fun too now it's a lot of stuff going on and just ain't fun and that's what i'm telling you and one of the things is dating ain't fun for people no more i be watching 80s videos right and when i watch rick ashley i'm like look at that look how he was talking on the phone that stuff was fun It was. Now, women that text you or call you when they want something or when they are trying to manipulate you a lot of times, you be looking at it like, and that's, you know, in your 40s, you got to learn this right here. Get what you're talking about. In your 40s, when you have problems in life, you don't look, because it'll take you out. You'll be like, if I get evicted, so what? And I'm going to do a video on that. If I lose that car, who gives a flying flip? That's how you have to think in your 40s. If this person don't like me, who cares? Get away from around me. That's how you have to think. And so when you're dealing with these women, you don't date in your 40s. Why would you date? You getting ghosted in your 40s. You don't need your feelings hurt in your 40s. You're supposed to be cold as a freezer. Freezer cold. 
at this point, I'm dry ice. I'm dry ice. Now, if, if you play your cards right, dry ice has a purpose, right? You'll know how to use the dry ice. But if you don't play your cards right, you're going to get cut, you're going to get burnt. I remember when I was a kid, I used to always get burnt by dry ice. Because I would be putting my hand in the freezer the wrong way. You move like this the wrong way, it'll cut you. Or you, you can't leave your hand on it too long. Just dry ice will get hot on you. Shockingly, it's weird. But when you in your 40s, you don't date, man. Even if you on a dating site, then you won't have no complaints. Why would this car pull all the way up like that? You won't have no complaints. We're going to have to come back and talk about this more. Because I, I don't... I know for a fact I haven't covered this like I need to cover. So, why is car too big? Even short. You got a big old car, practically bigger than mine. Probably can't maneuver it. Hey, I ain't taking shots. Some of them probably can drive better than me. Probably a few, three, two or three people in the world can drive better than me. But we gonna come back with part two to this, y'all. We ain't done.